Well, yes, but we do have to worry about the arms race on the planet Earth. Reaching the moon has minimal military value. It takes three days to go to the moon. A war on the Earth, a space war, would be fought in a matter of hours, not days. Scientists and space fans are paying attention to something astonishing as the secret of the cosmos is revealed in our giant celestial neighbor. The surface of an ancient and enigmatic structure produced by the lunar dirt. Everything we know about Earth, aside from its natural satellite, is called into question by this finding. What mysteries does the moon conceal that have been held from us for ages? And how can the solutions to these mysteries change our position within the cosmos? Come along with us as we explore discovery that stunned the entire world. China found something unique about the moon that altered our perception of its surface. Chinese engineers launched the rocket party in the 9th century AD setting the stage for today's spectacular pyrotechnic displays and rocket engines. Despite dominating the race in the middle of the 20th century, China got on the Soviet Union's tail in the 1950s and began exploring space. But with the fall of the Soviet Union, China started to shift to the left. They triumphantly launched the first satellite into orbit on April 24, 1970. Since then, the technology has been gradual but stable. China's lunar orbiter Chang'e 1 made it inside the moon in just 10 days after arriving there for the first time in 2007. Didn't get much attention at first, but people from all over the globe didn't stop China's progress until Chang'e amazed them all with a new solar system. China, however, doesn't stop there. A relative of the International Space Station, they constructed their own space station. China's new modular playground is the result of this cosmic growth, and the nation is getting ready to pay the price to reach new heights. China's space exploration has taken an exciting turn, particularly as the country's space exploration sector starts to become well-known in the exploration community. While exploring the enigmatic dark side of the moon, Chang'e 2 comes across another item. Images from China shed light on the enigma of the orange-yellow gel that shocked scientists to no end. A lot of people started to question whether this was proof of lunar life. However, the Chinese are silent, keeping the rest of the world in the dark. Chang'e 2 gained notoriety and an honorable medal for accomplishing the audacious task of exploring the enigmatic backstage area on the enigmatic dark side of the moon. Celestial difficulties are resolved by earthly control, and the whole lunar month is under control. The China National Space Administration has broken earthly rules and resolved significant communications issues by using the magic of space. It's interesting to note that China not only had the highest number of launches in 2018-39 total, beating out the US with 31 and Russia with 20, but it also got off to an even better start in 2019. They made a rover landing on the moon's dark side on January 3 and managed to get even more enigmatic pictures of our celestial neighbors. Is a significant accomplishment for China, on par with taking home the global championship in space exploration. Engineer Doug Ellison of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory captured images and created stunning panoramas from them. The lander that transported the rover to the dark side of the moon is also visible in these photos, which give us a glimpse inside the rover's point of view. China intends to use the moon extensively. The lunar surface exhibits a dichotomy between its two phases, as demonstrated by several 4,444-year orbits. One side of us has a more level surface, and the other resembles a wonderland with many of craters. It is now thought by scientists that the moon's far side is thicker than its near side and may contain some mysteries. However, unless someone examines it in person, we can't be certain. The moon's remoteness excites astronomers because similar to cosmic time, it is a calm place devoid of earthly radio waves, ideal for researching the formation and evolution of stars and galaxies. The rover has a plethora of equipment including a spectrometer for collecting cold radio images, sophisticated equipment for monitoring radiation, 
and a camera for taking photographs of the moon. Finding food going on a treasure hunt on the moon, and seeing how the sun's atmosphere interacts with the moon. China's lunar exploration effort includes the Chang'e 4 mission. Before sending out research to watch from above, they are now excavating. The Chang'e 4 mission's flying location has the name of a Chinese moon goddess. Launched from the Xichang Launch Center in western China, the March 3B rocket made its first flight on December 7. Since December 13, he has been away from the Cosmic Companion, attending to the necessary functions of his data and communications. Since landing, it has carried out some incredible scientific experiments and explored previously uncharted space. They are problematic because of the glass substance, which is distinct from regular lunar soil. The moon was dark, making visibility poor. Merely 38% of classrooms exhibit detectable plagiarism. This glass substance is surprisingly similar to its lunar surroundings, indicating that it could seem like other lunar dust. This is when the intriguing part comes in. The surface of this dark, green moon reflection is around 52 by 60 centimeters. This secret is revealed by scientists from the Chinese Academy of Sciences in a scholarly study that was published in the journal Earth and Planetary Science Letters. This dark green glow impact melted material is known as Lunar Mystery Breccia. It was discovered in the Von Karman crater, far from the light and disturbance. Researchers matched materials from the US Apollo missions with photos captured by the lunar rover. The green item was discovered to have some hazy resemblance to the Apollo sample, which raises the possibility that it was formed during a lunar impact. After a successful 23-day space voyage, the Chang'e 5 mission came to a close on December 1, 2020, when it landed on the asteroid. From China's Hainan province, the Wenchang spacecraft launch site saw the twin dynamic detectors take off like rockets. Numerous missions, including the launch of satellites, portions of the Chinese space station, and probes like Chang'e 3, have been successfully completed by the launch pad. The Chang'e 5 lander touched down gracefully on the moon's hot spot, also known as the God of the Ocean, after successfully separating from the orbiter in. This large, flat region is on the moon's far side, close to the equator, incredibly open, and connected to the 1,250-meter Mons Rumka. There is a laser target, so the Chang'e 5 mission is not merely a joyful event, the mission of the roughly 8-ton interstellar explorer is to retrieve moon rocks back to Earth and gather samples from the moon. These unusual creatures are coming home for the first time in 40 years. There may be more to the moon than previously believed, according to recent discoveries. Some even venture to imagine that the moon has a bountiful store of food that might hold the secret to unleashing our strength. The expedition was carried out aboard a spacecraft that was circumnavigating the moon and meticulously gathering samples from its depths. People all throughout the world held their breath as the jet started to return to Earth just 14 days later. China became one of the top countries in aerospace with this triumph. Scientists were anticipating the return of the lunar samples with great anticipation, even as the world celebrated this feat. As they have unraveled the mysteries of the moon, scientists from all across the world have lived up to expectations, offering fresh viewpoints and unexpected findings. The capsule successfully re-entered Earth's atmosphere on December 17, 2020, and touched down in the vast, sparsely inhabited region of Mongolia. The specialists were delighted to go to work right away after learning that the samples were safe. An urgent issue is raised. Is there anything entirely new occurring in the moon's interior, or will this drilling support current hypotheses about how the moon formed? However, some astronomers started to decipher the possible meaning of the capsule's structure even before it arrived on Earth. These specialists assert that about 4 billion years ago, a planet roughly the size of Mars collided with Earth, creating the conditions for the formation of the moon. A portion of our planet was ripped away in the tumultuous aftermath of this cosmic collision, 
and converted into rock by molten lava. Up until today, the conventional consensus was that the water column had been permanently obliterated by the heat of that age. The moon is a dim thing that is gradually disappearing from our collective perception, like to a cosmic plum. This lunar tail now has a degree of mystery thanks to recent discoveries. Over the course of the last several months and years, telescopes and detectors have been working non-stop to reveal a startling truth. Massive sheets of ice are concealed within the craters close to the moon's poles. Abruptly, the once dry moon started to live up to its reputation of being parched, displaying ice that defied expectations. Long believed to be in a state of constant drought, the moon appears to have a hidden reservoir ready to divert attention, change the course of history, and more. As the tale progresses, all of a sudden, everyone is discussing the frozen moon. NASA is getting ready for the Artemis mission, which will spend the next 10 years filming residents of the moon in the area that is the coldest. Space travelers will have to figure out how to make useful use of the water that the moon stores while they are there. Why is the moon so important to everyone? On the moon, oil is cooked, people drink water, and plants chill in the lunar soil. Chang'e 5, the cosmic explorer, has thrown us a curveball in our dreams. The rover found an amazing finding in the little star known as the moon. An abundance of water, the Chinese Academy of Sciences has some exciting news. While using Chang'e Five's practice exercise, they stumbled upon a collection of tiny cups. When meteorites struck the moon, these small pebbles were created instantly. Water-laden comets made their way to the lunar landing as well. The moon is now receiving cold water secrets from the ice at the poles. As we're discussing the moon's twists, Scientists investigated the impacts of glass beads in more detail. They have a huge surprise in store. It was found that the beads included water storage. Even while there is very little water in each tiny pearl, when combined it resemble moon water. These are not one millimeter beads. They are tiny. When you figure out how much water is in each of these tiny beads, it becomes shocking. In each rock, there are 2,000 parts of water for every million parts of water. Water can make up as much as 2,000 per ton of lunar soil. The Earth's ecology states that one liter of liquid water is equal to 2,000 liters of water. These glasses will get scattered during the month. Comets, asteroids, and meteors have been tearing up the moon for thousands of years. It appears to be an unannounced river party on the moon. As it turns out, Water will exist on the moon in all regions, from the equator to the poles. This implies that people won't have to travel all the way to the pole and cope with the ice there when they finally travel to the moon. Alternatively, water is found practically everywhere on the moon. The beads might enter the water by heating up. It's more science-based and takes less digging than a treasure hunt. Moon residents will always have quick access to clean water no matter where they want to shop. Chinese scientists are working even harder to demonstrate that the water within these glistening rocks has a fascinating history. It appears to have been created by the sun. A portion of the charged hydrogen atoms from the sun seep into the glass beads and combine with the inside air. In the same way as the sun gives the moon a small surprise. These glass beads are no longer all that's there. They lose some of their hydrogen charge when exposed to heat from the sun. They seem to be offering something for free. Approximately 298,700,000 short tons, or all the water on the moon, are contained in the glass beads. Experts who abide by these claims that moon dwellers are essentially perched atop a hot spring. NASA's 2010 lunar studies reveal that the North Pole holds 661,400,000 short tons of water. Everyone assumed that the moon was drier than bones, so this is shocking. It appears he has a little party of his own. Our beautiful planet Earth has around 1.47 megatons of water on it. The collection of moons is excellent. We envision changes, either chemical or otherwise, 
that will turn these glassy pools into moving torrents. That won't occur though. There is virtually no pressure, no wind, no heat, and no cold on the moon. The moon is not expected to see significant changes very soon because of its low density and feeble magnetic field. But there have been indications of erosion that suggest liquid water once flowed on Mars. Large-scale initiatives are in motion to produce lakes and oceans and will trap greenhouse gases and melt Martian ice. Some experts, meanwhile, are not quite sold on this theory. Beyond only the mysteries of water, these glass beads reveal more. The recent JAWS finding could make Moon go insane. Special samples taken from deep strata are those that the Chinese space probe managed to get. Compared to the samples collected from orbit during the US Apollo mission, they are a millennium older. The glass beads have been burning silently for an astounding 2 billion years. Imagine tremendous collisions with comets, asteroids, and meteors that have the same power as the 68 million year old extinction of the dinosaurs. The moon has successfully withstood these global forces despite its modest size. Scientists believe that the moon's resilience to dust and thick composition are among the many elements that determine its life. Despite its little size, this star has seen the world through an existential crisis and given birth to several innovations that will help us much in the future. Pearl encrusted, as if the moon were the only remnant of the cosmos, it narrates the tale of star battle and triumphant conquest over the centuries. Chang 5 discovers another lunar treasure, a crystal resembling a buried diamond on the moon. It's not simply crystal, rather, it seems as though the moon is a tiny secret composed of elements that the rest of the world is unaware of. The moonstone proved to be a game changer, leaving scientists stunned and dumbfounded when they laid eyes on it. Includes the essential components of nuclear fusion. What if the law of nuclear fusion could be broken? Worldwide energy solutions. We have been obtaining our energy from nuclear fission waves up till now. A worldwide radio crisis is the end outcome. Similar to a cosmic dance, nuclear fusion is the process by which lighter nuclei combine to generate heavier nuclei. Compared to the fission parties we keep losing, it releases more energy. For decades, there hasn't been an electric trunk. This energy fantasy is being pursued by physicists worldwide, and they are making great efforts to realize it. It is challenging to measure the pressure and energy needed to fuse these atomic components. Perhaps this moonstone holds the key to solving the enigma. Let's say we find a magical stone or a little object that wishes to unite. This is a reality check, not a fantasy. The icy phosphate minerals are called Chang, after the moon goddess Chang, who is also said to be harmful. Beijing scientists are tasked with determining if the world is ready for this nuclear power plant, which produces helium-3, that can be used for nuclear fusion. We might be in the midst of a fantastical moon mining scenario in which spacecraft return moon rocks to Earth as though they were an infinite resource. At least for a little while, our planet will finally be able to relax. In 2024, the Chang'e 6 mission will embark on another lunar treasure hunt. What fascinating patterns will they be able to photograph from the moon's western side? There will be some surprises for the globe. NASA was keeping an ear out for the exciting news that was going around. The entire United States could run on 27.6 short tons of helium-3 for a year. It would be like to placing him on a space shuttle. The approximate value per short ton is $3 billion. Like a precious gem waiting to be mined, the moon might be the next great thing. Just think of the incredible boost project Artemis has been receiving for all these months. We could be seeing the emergence of a new area right in front of our eyes as the moon seems to be evolving into a celestial hotspot. Thanks for watching another episode. While you're here, you can watch more space-related videos.